Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name is Vim PF, and on today's episode, we're going to be covering an Ardner Merkin. This one comes with a brief little story because uh, this is the first Ardner Merkin I'd ever tried. And it's not something that I'd ignored necessarily, but as with all things, there are too many whiskies and not enough time and certainly not enough money in the world to uh, get everything that comes my way or possibilities or whatever. So it's been one that I've kind of missed. You know, I've seen it. You know, people in Scotland are talking about it a lot. People south of the border are talking about it a lot. Relatively new distillery that's been around since 2014. Fairly, fairly hard to get to up in the Highlands. But in any case, the reason why I have this here today, and this is one of the rare occasions of when I um, grab a bottle that I bump it up the list. You know, usually I've got like, you know, you can't quite see here, but just below these ones here, wherever my finger is, there, just below these ones, there's a queue of whiskey that I uh, am to cover. One a week for however long I can manage it for. And I've you know, got probably about two months worth of whiskey at any one time ahead of me. And usually when, get, when I get a new bottle in, it goes straight to the back of the queue and I just get to it when I get to it. Occasionally, a bottle comes my way that I just have to talk about straight away. And that is this one here. What we have is the Ardner Merkin AD 0222 cask strength. It doesn't roll off the tongue by any stroke, but you know, in any case. Now the reason why I have this it's because recently, as you might know, if you've watched the channel, uh, I covered the VPUB a few weeks ago. Roy was on holiday and he asked me to just do a VPUB and I did that on my own channel. And one of the things we were talking about on there was the Oswas, which are coming up, if you're watching this at time of recording, time of release, is this Saturday. So I'll drop a link to that in the uh, description below. If you're watching that after the 5th of November, then that's already gone, but hopefully you'll be able to watch that back one as well. Maybe I'll try and find a link to that for you as well. Check the description below. There's going to be lots in the description today, I should point out. So, yeah, I was talking about the different Oswa nominations. And as we were going through the categories, I was sort of giving my thoughts, my, my opinions about what I thought I might win. And one of the interesting ones that kept coming up was Ardner Merkin. They've got a nomination for Best New Distillery, for Best Distillery. And uh, they've got this one here is in the um, potential nominations for Best Whiskey of the Year. Uh, and I was sort of talking about that to the people that were there on live stream, saying that I'd never tried Ardner Merkin and just have never got around to it. We'll probably get around to it at some point. Last I thought about it. Anyway, overnight, uh, I got an email from uh, a really good guy called Jason, and he basically told me about where it was on deal. Uh, I'm not sure if it's still on deal, but I'll check that out. And again, links in the description below. And he'd found it for less than 50 quid. With shipping, probably about £55, £56, pounds, I think I paid for it in the end. So, I bought it. Um, you know, it's not often that happens to me, so I thought I'm going to give it a go, see what everyone's raving about, and as you can probably tell, because I'm now doing a review of it, I've bumped it up the queue because this needs to be talked about. It's a fantastic whiskey. Spoiler alert. But, yeah, that's the story about why I have it. There you go. I've got it. Let's get into it, see what we've got. So... As I mentioned earlier, Ardner Merkin AD0222, cask strength, 58.7%. Got it for about £55, let's say, with shipping. And it's a relatively young whiskey. Now, we'll get into why I know the ages in a bit, but there's the oldest stuff in here is 2014. The youngest stuff is 2015. That's cool. So we're talking about six, seven-year-old whiskey, depending on the bottling and the, the distillation dates. Don't know that for sure. But yeah, it's a young whiskey. Um, but I like that. You know, I like that. I'm not bothered about age statements. This one at least has some kind of vintage or whatever. But the remarkable thing about this is the traceability. Now, on the back, you have this rather unassuming QR code. And don't worry about taking that QR code because I'll drop a link to this QR code in the description below. Again, lots of information going on there. And they go into mind-boggling amounts of detail about how they made this. It's akin to the stuff we used to get for the Brook Laddie. Uh, they, I mean, they still do that, of course, but it's it's that kind of stuff. So you can scan that code, you get a long list of things from the entire process, right down to temperatures that have been taken, to hydrometer readings that have been taken. But the big one is that you know the thing that we're all kind of interested in is how it's been matured. And we've got the exact cask list that have gone into this. It's 50 casks that went into this, so it's not like even a massive amount of casks. 50 casks, 40 of them were peated and 10 of them were unpeated 
and five of those unpeated were sherry casks. The rest were ex-bourbon. Love that. Love that. So, yeah, if you want to know, I'm not going to go through all the details of what you can see, but if you want to know more information about this bottling, then go and check that out. But if you have a bottle of Ardner Merkin, scan the code and see what you've got. Because I imagine if you're watching this video, then you're a bit of a whiskey nerd like me. So you're going to want to see that sort of stuff. Anyway, let's get on to the actual whiskey and see what we've got in the glass after much wittering. We can talk a little bit about colour because it's uh, natural colour, non-chill filtered, all the things that we like. It looks good. It's, you know, fairly... It's not the deepest golden colour, but I wouldn't expect that of its age. Um, so for me, don't care. Let's move on to the nose and see what we've got. Now, as I mentioned, it's a peated whiskey. There is some sherry elements to it, but to be honest with you, if you'd have told me this was pure ex-bourbon, I'd have believed you. Not picking up many of those kind of fruity, some dried fruits kind of vibes that I would get from a sherry cask whiskey. Not really getting much of that at all, but in any case, for me, it's... It's not even overly, it's not like overly dirty pea, it's kind of like sea air, saltiness, brininess, and a bit of smoke above the top of it. It's not like that kind of dirt pea. Lovely. Let's get onto the palette and see what we've got. Mm. Oh, there's a lot going on here. Obviously a massive cast strength one. I haven't tried their, um, their non-cast strength offerings, but... I'm going to get to them, just like I did this. So yeah, there's a lot going on there. The, the ABV really makes itself known. High big zing, but we've got a lot of extra kind of smokiness again. It's not really heavy on that kind of peatedness. Like I said, it's really kind of small on the smoky side. Mixed in with those briny sea air vibes, like I mentioned before. A bit more cask influence on the palate than there was the nose. So there's a bit more kind of like tannic elements, like uh, oak and a bit of tobacco, that sort of thing. And at the back end, really interestingly enough, there's like a bit of a citrusy element going on. Lovely. Perfect for a bit of a dry throat like I've got right now. Very croaky. Mm. Yeah. Now, if you haven't gathered throughout this video, I'm a massive fan of this. Huge fan. Couldn't not wait to put this out, whatever double negative there. Because I think this might start a chance of winning. On the Oswas, you know, um, I implore you to watch that because I don't know any of the results, don't know what's going to happen. Um, this is going up against some stiff competition, but I think it stands a good chance of winning. And that's the main reason why I picked it up, genuinely, because the deal was good, but um, after the Oswas, if it does win, I'm not going to be able to get this. Again, as I've said before in many videos, the point of the Oswas is not to sell whiskies out. The point of the Oswas is not to make whiskies hard to get. The point of the Oswas is not to increased value of bottles on secondary market or anything like that. It's just to get good whiskey into good people's hands. So I took the opportunity while I could to buy a bottle of it while I could because if it wins, I'm not going to be able to get it. Even though that's not the point of the Oswald, it's going to happen. So yeah, there you go. Long story long. That's my thoughts of the Ardner Merkin car strength. I'm astounded by this thing. It's so good. Um, and it's put me onto this new distillery that I'm probably guilty of ignoring. Didn't mean to ignore it. Didn't do it intentionally. No reasons behind it. Just... Didn't get around to it. Now, now you're on my radar, Ardner Merkin. Definitely on my radar. I'm going to be looking up for more bottles and I'm going to be seeing what I can get hold of. There you go. If you want to get a bottle of this, do so. If not, check out the Oswas. It might win. It might not. Something else will come to it. But in any case, I think this is worth checking out, especially for us whiskey nerds. I'll catch you again on more whiskey videos.